What's happening guys? I'm Aiden from DK Tune. In today's video, as you can see in the background, we are lining all of the cars up to go on the dyno. Yes, that is right. The dyno has been installed uh, and now we're going to be uh, doing, well, it's being installed. Um, now we're going to be putting on the Abarth Panda, then Shane's car and then Ryan's uh, MX-5 in the background as well. So yeah, a really exciting video. And I'm, I'm so, I'm so sad I haven't bought my car. Ah, ah. We all know it's going to be slow anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, let's go into the workshop and see what we're working with. Not anymore, mate. <laughs> I've actually got a in my car. I think you were paying for myself. No, 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 I want a pain. I was not a pain. Okay, so these two are betting that their cars are going to make more horsepower than each other. So we're going to have a test here. Two pounds, Mars bar. I'll buy you a I'll go get one now. <laughs> God's sake. Let's talk about what you think that it's going to make. Uh, so you could, you did say that it's potentially tuned. Yeah. Um, so what is it standard? Standard day, about 320. I think they make a little bit less on the dyno. So. Okay, so what are you actually expecting off the, off the dyno? Judging off when I've drove it and what it feels like, I'd probably say around 350. About 350? So we're hoping for that 350 mark then, yeah? 350. <laughs> okay, so obviously we have uh, Ryan's as well, trying not to get the reg plate in. Uh, but we're hoping that this is going to make around about 100 brake horsepower. He has had it rebuilt as well. Um, and obviously he's going turbo in the future when obviously he can sort out everything with the insurance and all that as well. Um, so hopefully this is going to be making just over 100 brake horsepower, I reckon. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. It should be cool. It does go sideways well, so doesn't it? So, <laughs> so there you go. And first to go on the dyno, guys, is the Abarth Panda. 100 brake horsepower, and it's definitely not going to uh, be 100 brake horsepower now, so obviously. Got to get the fan and everything in as well and obviously strap it down before we can go for the first run. But we'll see what brake horsepower is actually running. Okay guys, so we've just been out on the track walk for the final time. <laughs> I'm so sad, I love that car. Absolutely mental car. Um, so yeah, absolutely sounds sick as well. Uh, we've just done the gearbox map. Uh, put all that on and we've also just finished off the full feature uh, cinematic feature on it as well so it's going to look absolutely incredible in the background as we can see that is training on the dyno so we'll have a walk over there and see what they're doing as well um, as the golf r is still on the uh, ramp uh, nothing's been done with that just yet because ian has been concentrating on the other cars um, that I've needed mechanical stuff as Jake is off. Uh, unfortunately, one of his family members uh, is got corona, so obviously he's off for a while, uh, so we won't see him in any of the vlogs for a, a little while, but he will be back. Make sure you subscribe to see Jake. <laughs> so yeah, he will be back, so no worries on that. Um, the ab off, the track ab off has now got a new um, side to it. There's new got a new uh, side wing on it as well, so that's going to look a little bit better. And now, in the background, Shane is going to get his 135i in and onto the dyno. Too much power. <laughs> a little bit of momentum. <laughs> there you go. And he's almost on, guys. Car sounds absolutely sick as well, which is always good. <laughs> nice three litre single turbo. Straight six. Always sounds beautiful. And his car's dropped on. So this is centralising the car, guys. Make sure that it's in the right place. So 
So guys, unfortunately we couldn't do the Panda uh, because it hasn't got a front tow hook. So obviously the guys have said that they don't want to uh, risk it or anything. Uh, but now we're gonna get the straps onto the 135i and basically see what he's pushing. All right guys, so we've got Shane's car on the ramp and he's eagerly waiting the arrival <laughs> of his results. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna film a little bit in a minute, but obviously you won't be able to hear that well because of the uh, fan being so loud. Uh, but obviously we have to have that on to keep intake temperatures down uh, and all the back is now strapped down. So we're eagerly waiting the results of the 135i. Shane's car has now been on the dyno for a five runs. Uh, was consistently pushing 376 brake horsepower. It's now broken because uh, on my second run, it died. Well, it didn't die. It's just misfiring, like, catastrophically. Uh, so we think, we're thinking and hoping it's injectors. We don't think it's anything too far or too drastic in it. Hopefully an injector will fall back. Well, it definitely would have happened when I get on it. I didn't want to get in it. And they told me to get in it. And it died on my second run. I was trying to be nice, man. I was trying to be. Two cars. <laughs> Two cars. <laughs> this is what happens. Um, it's nothing actually to do with the car. Uh, and it's nothing to do with the dyno anyway. It just sometimes this, this kind of thing happens. So yeah, sorry Shane. Love you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to get the MX-5 on now. Uh, obviously that's going to not run anywhere near the sa amount of power that this car is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get that on and see what that's lost uh, over the time. Uh, dry train loss as well uh, was about four, uh, 46 brake horsepower um, at peak power as well. So pretty acceptable figures that, to be honest. Uh, really, really good, to be honest. Um, so we all know this car, these cars are uh, pretty much a weapon anyway. Um, so yeah, 117 brake horsepower, the MX-5 is supposed to be stock. Rebuilt engine, um, no modifications past that. Uh, so hopefully we can return. Um, we're looking for 100, we want at least 100 in it. It should be 117 because it's the Jap import. Yeah. Um, it's under pressure for engine rebuild. I'm not going to name who did it, uh, but I doubt. I doubt it's. Uh, I'm open. Yeah. Let's let's hope for 100. If we get any below that, then I'm hoping for 100. I'm expecting 92. <laughs> I'm expecting about 95. If, if I'm 115, I'll be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's get that on the dyno and see what she does. Okay guys, so as we can see, this is not an MX-5. Now the MX-5 was actually so low, we couldn't actually put it on. Um, so that's, that's not great, is it? You, uh... We'll be going back on. <laughs> we'll be going back on. I've You're not happy, are you? I've got uh, <laughs> spare wheels on at the back at the minute. So it's too small. I was having oil ones painted. Okay. So, <laughs> Okay, so now we have the big boy E63. See what this beast is running. Hopefully, we're running around about 740 ish brake horsepower. Uh, so, we'll see exactly what DK Tuning's pushing. Okay, so another car has had to come off the dyno. <laughs> um, yeah, we're all running really low cars, so this is a little bit of a problem. Um, so we have plastic covers near where the wheels are. Uh, I'm not sure what they are, but Ian is removing them now. And then we can get her back on the dyno. Um, Dan, obviously the owner of DK and the car, uh, reckons that we should get around about 700-ish 
uh, brake horsepower. We also have got pop and bang as well, so obviously that'll be uh, dropping power from uh, what we would have originally thought. I would have thought about 730, 740, uh, hopefully. If we can get the 720 mark, we'll be really happy. Right, so the E63 is now back on the ramp, just being strapped down now, and we also have the DK tuning courtesy car over here, uh, which is actually having a new radiator put on it. Uh, Ian in the background is working on that to make sure that it's all right to go out for the customer tomorrow. So hopefully we're gonna have some big power um, for the second car to go on the dyno as well. <laughs> Something with just about 700 brake horsepower uh, is gonna be absolutely mental. And the noise is gonna be uh, pretty ridiculous in here with the uh, pop and bang and everything as well. So yeah, it's gonna be absolutely sick. Is the end of the day guys a very uh, busy day with the dyno and everything uh, we're all pretty much trained up now uh, the dyno guys will be back at some point uh, we are looking into a bigger extractor fan and obviously we're having the uh, the unit built around it as well um, so quite a bit more uh, development in this area of the workshop too uh, the abarth is pretty much back together now uh, which is good uh, so that'll be going out to the customer. So, if you did like the video, guys, please do hit the like button below. Uh, if you are new, then make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification button as well. And we'll see you uh, in the next one. Hey.